And now from the Freedom First Sports Desk, it's First and Ten with John Apicello. Sponsored by... Welcome to week nine of the big show. We're in the thick of district action, and tonight I'm channeling draft day. Maybe it was Zach Rice's big commitment announcement last night, but we've seen plenty of local talent get to play on Sunday. So I, rem I remind you, no one can stop a ticking clock, but the great ones, the great ones always find a way to slow it down. Jeff Williamson does that and more for our First and Ten website. For all your needs in high school football, do check it out, which brings us to the game of the week. River Ridge District, defensive-minded, opportunistic Christiansburg, high-octane pH, in a collision of styles, so to speak. Ten Sports' Eric John and was in Christiansburg tonight for a battle of one-loss playoff-bound teams. Eric, take it away. Hey, Happy, it certainly was a showdown of two stout River Ridge teams that both like to epitomize and really capitalize on every opportunity that they have on offense. But the key in this one would be the defense. Who could step up and play that bend but don't break mentality? Early on, it looked like it would be both sides. In fact, we were scoreless in the first quarter. Here in the second quarter, it's Steven Smiley Martil taking the rock, rumbling in for the touchdown. 7 0 Blue Demons lead. Ensuing drive, Joey Beasley trying to pass. Strip sacked by Deshaun Garrison. Look who it is. It's Smiley. Yes, he's living his best life. He's off to the races for the touchdown. 14 0 nothing Seaberg. Under four minutes before halftime, PH pinned deep. They had a bad snap, and Kenyon Johnson Buchanan applying pressure. Ball out of the back of the end zone for the safety. 16 0 at halftime. In fact, Seaberg built a 23 0 advantage before the Patriots finally had a response. Tayshawn Webb from the nine yard line said, This one is mine. 91 yard rumble to the jungle for the touchdown. But it was can't stop, won't stop for the Blue Demons. Smiley still cheesing late in this one. Added another late rushing touchdown. Christiansburg defensive line ate its Wheaties, its mini wheats, its honey bunches of oats, everything. They lived in the backfield so much they paid rent. Blue Demons 7-1 with the 37-14 win. We, our kids gave, gave great effort. I mean, they made a couple big plays and special teams. We knew we were going to have to corral them, but, you know, kudos to our kids, you know, putting the football down and playing the next down when they made big plays and just keep getting after it. As a team, like, we all help each other in the defense and the coaches. Like, they just all give us a good game plan. And on defense, we just, like, hawk them down and then give them no, no room to score. And in offense, just the O-line. My O-line is so good. Boy, let me tell you all something, right? I like two touchdowns. Like, oh, like, our running back group is great, right? Anybody can score. And as he mentioned there, really anybody can score. Coach Wilkins said earlier in the week, PH is more athletic than us. However, we play better as a team and we bring max effort. There certainly was a case tonight. Appy? All right, great matchup. Meantime, no discussion of that River Ridge moves forward without checking in on the Spartans. To take the top spot, you have to topple Salem. That said, here we go. Third quarter, it's Salem and Cave Spring. And Salem's up by three scores. Deron Wilson going to Chauncey Logan Jr. Seems like we've seen that one a few times before. We're in the red zone now, and it's Cam Leftwich up the middle. 28 nothing Spartans in this one. Later in the third quarter, it's Deron Wilson, and he is going to be picked off here at the goal line by Cameron Geralds, or this thing could have gotten worse. But in the fourth quarter, how about Javion Jones going for the touchdown? 35-0, Spartans go to 6-1. The G-men of Graham at Pulaski County tonight. And Pulaski is honoring their longtime broadcaster, Dan Callahan, who, who passed last year. They named the press box after him. Meantime, the G-men starting fast. Fifth play of the game, Zach Blevins to Braden Watkins. Diving grab, touchdown, 7-0 Graham. Cougars respond with a fake right here. And then they're going deep. Chris Gallimore, John Lyman backpedaling in for the 42-yard score, 7-6 ball game. Second quarter, Blevins going deep again. Xavion Meadows tripped up right here, but he's going to stretch and get in. 42 yards, 30 to 12. Graham at the half. Graham goes on to a 58 to 18 victory. The Titans back on the winning track. They take out Blacksburg 35 0. Meantime, the Titanic clash in the Piedmont was in Danville tonight. Rejuvenated Bassett drops by to battle a reloaded Eagle squad of GW Danville. Student section ready to go. So were the Eagles. Donovan Howard, direct snap, one move. See ya. I'm in the end zone. 7 0 G Dub. And meantime, on the move again. 
Howard, you think he's going to keep it, sucks the defense in, and it's Jacoba, Jacoby Dixon over the top, and G-Dub's on a roll. Bengals going to respond. Simeon Walker Muse darting in. This is a 50-yard run to the house. But Bassett, simply too many mistakes tonight against a very talented team. 21-7, GW Danville gets the victory. More Piedmont, Comets by 10 tonight over Patrick County. Martinsville at Tunstall moved to 630. I need you to make a splash. And if you can't do it, then I have to do it. We'll see if the Class 3 state runner-up Cavaliers have another splash in them tonight. The Fighting Blues would love to do the same with rival Covington in. And dealing with North Cross, forget the splash. It's like trying to survive a tidal wave. Plus this. You're watching First and Ten with John Abatello. All right, Brooke, plenty of changes to the power running game of LB. I think they're trying to get their hands, you know, get the playmakers the ball, I should say. And so things are a little bit different. But so far, it appears like it's working. Yeah, it's worked so far. And But as we know, Northside, that Webb-Abshire combination, it's truly hard to stop unless you have top-notch secondary. But there you go. motions are always high in this game, resulting in big plays like this one. Check out this pick by Cade Lang. Oh, reels it in. Oh. Yeah, setting them up for a scoring drive. Now, we noticed last week, Botetot has been running a lot of their offense through Jakari nicely. Here he is shaking off a couple defenders, then later taking it in for the score. But the combo, like I just said, Sydney Webb to Cameron Abshire can be pretty unstoppable, giving the Cavaliers secondary a little trouble. That pass setting Webb up for the score. But I'll tell you what this game had on both sides of the ball. Appy, do you like brunch? Oh, always. Well, how about some pancakes? Oh. Let's talk pancakes, all right? And we'll add oh, in. Oh, big hits all over the place. Oh, my goodness. And not to mention this side of quarterback scrambled eggs. Oh, I like it. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, man. I'm all right. Botetot's ground game prevails. They beat Northside 36-15. We have blitz packages that we very seldom use. And uh, we used a lot of them tonight to try to create a lot of pressure. We know they have a young offensive line, but I thought their kids, I thought their kids played hard. I think the Webb kids are real competitor. He's a great athlete. Uh, number 14 is an absolutely fantastic receiver. That kid, that kid all that. That kid all be playing on Saturdays. Just kids are starting to play for each other and play hard, and they're playing the brand of football that we play here. All right, next up, Lord Botetot at Franklin County. Northside host William Bird. Appy? Funny you say that because if Botetot wants to repeat in the Blue Ridge, right, they need to get through Franklin County. So let's keep that in mind. Franklin County in action tonight at William Fleming. First quarter action, it's Nashawn Bonds going up the middle. Little burst to avoid the worst. 31-yard touchdown run, 7-0 Fleming. Uh, and, yeah, feed him the ball. Next Franklin County possession, this is Jalen Lee. He's going 34 yards down to the Fleming 14. Nice cut back. Power running there would lead to a touchdown 7-6. Next, William Fleming possession still first quarter. It's Bonds again. And look at this cut back and dash. And how about the truck of the defender right there for the big gain, which would lead to a William Fleming TD 14-6. Franklin County Eli Fouts going to Nazar Holland. 19-yard connection to cut the lead to one. And back and forth they went. How about 42 35 Franklin County by a score staying in the Blue Ridge Stanton River at William Byrd tonight and the Terriers honoring military service with the special uniforms tonight and here comes the Stanton River Golden Eagles this is William Byrd's quarterback Israel Hairston kept his patience nice pass there and then Lane Shoemaker diving on in it's a 7-0 Byrd lead Peyton Fox right here taking the ball up the field for the Terriers. Nice dash as he's headed to pay dirt. He would finish the job. Big running play here to give him a 14-0 lead. But as sometimes it goes, the Golden Eagles roar all the way back in a good one. 26-21, your final. Pioneer District rivals now Covington and Perry McClure. They've been around the block a few times. These two rivals like to get after each other. Here we go. And that's the Blues taking the field. 
And Brendan Shiley handing off to John Snyder. He's in for the touchdown. Eight nothing start. Blues special teams flashing here. Jalen Mitchell showing off some good moves, making the return all the way down to the five yard line. And then it's John Snyder taking it in from five yards out to make it four. To nothing. The Blues, Brennan Shiley dropping back. He's going to hit Snyder on a short pass and uh, watch him do what he has to do here on the little dump pass. And he's got blockers in front, but he gets to the corner. 35 6. Perry McClure victorious. Narrows back on the winning track. 46 14 over Eastmont tonight. Craig County and Bath County has been postponed. Blanded George with postponed, but Grayson County, the Blue Devils over Fort Chiswell 21 7. Auburn at Galax postponed, but Northwood and Royal Retreat, they will play tomorrow night. And in the VIS, North Cross is a big dog. You'd best leave sleeping on the porch. Fishburn stepped on the Raiders' tail, and the result was a familiar one this afternoon. Coach Alexander squad 6-1 and one on the season so far. Raiders defense swarming. Lambert R Renesky right here. Justin Jones taking down the Fishburn quarterback. Later, Connor Lang. He's going to hold on to the ball and power on in. Raiders up 7-0. Second quarter, North Cross trying to score. Lang finds Cross Thompson, who takes it to the house. This one, all Raiders, 48-0, your final. Rono Catholic set to play tomorrow at 3. And in the Valley District, Broadway blanks Rockbridge County, 42 to nothing. There is no such thing as a sure thing. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is what you think. In the Seminole District, I happen to think EC Glass could be a sure thing. We'll examine that and more when we come back. Seminole District, EC Glass at Rustburg tonight. Glass 6-1 and one coming in. This is George White going deep to Robert Wood. Look at the leap and the grab 30-yard reception. Three plays later. White on the quarterback keeper. He's in for the touchdown. They missed the two-point conversion, but they're up 6-0. Late first quarter, Rustburg trying to get something going. Third and five from the 38. Tipped by Thomas. Picked off by Marcavius Graves Franklin. That's going to set up this play to start the second quarter. Right to Lavarius Gilbert on second and goal. And, yeah, across the other side of the field, he is in. It's 13-0. Still second quarter. Fourth and six for the Red Devils. This, another pick. It's Wood with the pick six. EC Glass dropping the defense. They look to me like a balanced, ready contender Very for the playoffs. Right 40 to 12 is your final, and they have multiple people who wow. can run like that. So let's keep an eye on them in the last couple of weeks of the season. Brookville gets another win. This one, 36 to 21 over Amherst County. Again, their only losses are LCA and Heritage. And speaking of LCA, they remain undefeated, taking out the Minutemen 49-14. to Dogwood scores for you. Apple 55-27. Dan River, oh, I'm sorry, the Heritage scores 61-8. to So they continue to roll, defeating Jefferson Forest. Now we're going to the Dogwood District. Sorry, got ahead of myself. Apple 55-27. Dan River blanks Nelson County tonight, 35 to nothing, And Gretna, 36-8. Over Alta Vista. Eric, Three Rivers District. I think we know all about Glenver. They've been the survivor the last couple of years. But for a couple of years now, some of these other teams get into the playoffs and make noise. And I think that yeah. could be the possibility yet again. Yes, indeed. Of course, Radford, first year coach, and Michael Christ. And you can't count out a Floyd County team because Winford Beal is always Winford around. Beale, sure. Beal is the real deal. We'll see if they can bring it tonight. Bobcats getting a little love to start this one as they open up with Floyd County. Early on, Marcel Baylor, quick throw to Parker Prelude, makes a few cuts as he hit the juke stick there and gets the touchdown. 7-0 lead. Next Bobcat drive, Baylor is going to drop back, gets rid of this one and finds Elliott Grayson very eloquently here across the field. He's in for six more, 14 to nothing lead. Rafford had a fourth and 12. They're rolling a the dice, and why not? They've had a good night. However, this pass from Baylor is going to be intercepted by Caleb Fenton. However, Floyd could not capitalize on this one, though. Later, inside the 20, the handoff coming to Landon Clark. He's going to run right, runs left, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Radford goes on to win this one, 42-7. How about James River playing for a second time tonight, homecoming night. 
Congratulations to the King Ben Bailey and the Queen Bailey Mines. Speaking of mines, Giles Nathan Sheets said, this is mine. Takes this rock all the way around the corner, even through the face mask penalty. 55-yard touchdown, 14-7. Giles lead. James River coming right back, in fact, on the ensuing kickoff. Connor Church delivering the message here. Catches the ball, hands off. For the reverse to Ben Bailey, he takes it wow, all the way. great play. 14 huh? all. The Knights rocking and a rolling, but we had a minute 37 left in the game. Giles' Kalik Saunders takes the ball 14 yards down to the one-yard line. Okay. Gage Fleeman finishing this Single one wing. off. Single wing. That's in effect, it. Taking flight. 21-14. Giles gets the win over James River. Two weeks of the regular season left. Twas a fine show indeed with Halloween on the horizon. We'll see you next week.